Welcome back to Invest Global. Another day, another potential bank failure. Today, we're breaking down Credit Suisse, everything you need to know in context. I'll be playing out multiple scenarios, explaining to you exactly what you need to know about this, how it's unfolding in international markets, if they're too big to fail. I actually recently recorded a video on this exact topic, how I kind of predicted this. About five months ago, it was pretty easy to predict, quite honestly. If you've been looking for an easy short, Credit Suisse is definitely one of them. Um, basically, for a bit of context, they're the second largest lender in Switzerland, second to UBS. They have about $1.3 trillion Swiss francs assets under management, which equates to about $1.4 trillion in the U.S., a giant company with 50,000 employees. For context, the euro area economy totals to just over $14.5 trillion, so about 10% of that just in Credit Suisse. Over the past year, um, just in 2022, the losses totaled over $7 billion. Clients withdrew over $100 billion within the past three months. So just a bit of context with these past videos I've been making over the past few days on these other bank failures. Um, we had, so, you know, the second largest bank failure was the Silicon Valley Bank, which basically got bailed out. Um, this one was more in the venture capital space. They only had $209 billion um, assets at the time of failure. The largest is the Washington Mutual failure with $307 billion. So we're kind of stacking those. And then we actually saw the third largest just two days ago with a signature bank, which was at time of failure about $118 billion. And then fourth now, fourth, um, is the uh, Continental Illinois Bank which was only 40 billion assets um, at the time of failure. So very interesting to watch with Credit Suisse here. They have obviously not failed and they most likely will be um, backstopped or bailed out, if you will. Um, basically, let's move on to their shareholders. So like I said, I mean, the clients have withdrawn over $100 billion over the past three months. Pretty insane with Credit Suisse. Basically, the Saudi National Bank is the largest shareholder. Um, Credit Suisse is trying to ask them. They've basically been you know, calling up everybody saying, how can we get out of this situation? Because um, what I'll get to here in a minute is their credit default swaps, how those are really skyrocketed, which is kind of just the hedge against default, right? It's kind of the insurance or kind of similar to an option. I'll explain that in a bit. Also, I did explain that in this video. You know, I, I covered, honestly, most of these things in this video that I made uh, about, I think, like five months ago, something like that. And continuing on. So... Basically, what you want to look at is that um, Saudi National Bank owns roughly about 10% of Credit Suisse. And basically, their spokesperson came out and said that they will not actually be able to give more money, mostly because of these like legal reasons. If they basically own more than 10% of Credit Suisse, um, there's a lot of legal risks. So beyond that, with the hedging. So if we're looking at this, um, cost of insuring the debt as of March 15th, today, the one year pushed to 2 1,728 bips with base points. Very, very interesting. Remember, our base point is just, um, so 100 base points is like 1%. And um, this is essentially the price on the insurance um, if they default. Basically, the premiums have been skyrocketing. If you don't know about credit default swaps, um, I potentially am going to make like just an investment fundamental series that's evergreen, that no matter what changes in the markets, these are the things that you must know. And um, credit default swaps are definitely one, similar with you know euro dollar system, petrodollar system, these things I talk about on the channel, which surprisingly, most people I talk to have no idea, even if you know and if they think they're in the financial space. Um, very interesting to me. I work on a lot of different things, but I've, I've always been fascinated in these markets. So basically, this is a derivative contract where one party pays a premium uh, to another in exchange for protection against risk of default. Basically, a hedge similar to options or insurance, like I said. So if we go here, too big to fail. So these are kind of the two options right now. Um, this news that we recently got is that they've been talking with these Swiss authorities, um, you know, to hold this because it really will have systemic issues across a lot of economies, especially the euro area. Um, so I, what I basically wrote, wrote out here was if it will be kind of like a Biden backstop or bailouts, if you will. So unlike bank failures over the past week, Credit Suisse is classified as systemically important by the global economy and a collapse could trigger a financial crisis. Um, sending the euro area into a uh, crisis if, if they actually let them fail. And then if that occurs, um, basically what that would mean is basically central banks would aggressively have to slow policy tightening, right? Um, which most likely will happen either way uh, with, with all of this, especially with the bailouts we saw in the US. So let's get into this uh, Zero Hedge article here. Very, very interesting. They kind of lay out all the summary of the events happening. Um, by the way, so far, if you enjoy the video, if you have any questions, any comments, if I got anything wrong, let me know in the comments. I'm always looking to improve. And uh, the situation is kind of unfolding in front of us. I try and kind of make these videos a balance between beginner and advanced topics, but it is complicated with a situation like this. I do have to reiterate, obviously, credit default swaps, some of these basic fundamental things. That's why I'm kind of considering creating uh, similar to it. You know, I did a free um, technical analysis course, completely free people trying to charge a lot of money for stuff like that. But I, I want to make sure everybody has the financial tools necessary, you know, free education. And uh, ideally, I would have it in many different languages, but I'll probably do one just on investment fundamentals. So let me know if, if you'd enjoy that. So if you like the video so far, like it. If you don't, dislike it. And uh, yes, share the channel, notification bell, all that good stuff. Anyways, 
So Saudis fold, basically saying they refuse to throw any money at Credit Suisse. Credit Suisse um, stock hits record low. I think it was like that down this morning with 25% in pre-market. Pretty crazy. Credit Suisse's one-year credit default swaps explode as counterparty risk hedging soars. Credit Suisse executives urge a show of confidence from the Swiss National Bank. Very interesting. Uh, obviously, you know, the Swiss are very, very well known for their, their banking system. So the ECB, the European Central Bank, um, quantifying exposure to Credit Suisse. The U.S., like I said, it's about, just to put it in context, the whole euro area is about $14.5 trillion dollars. And, um, and Credit Suisse has about $1.4 trillion AUM, so assets under management. Very, very interesting, about 10% of the total euro area. So U.S. Treasury monitoring the situation, taking over um, with other regulators. The Fed is working um, with UST to quantify exposures. One major government is pressuring uh, the Swiss to intervene <laughs> systemic risk. Um, threat spread globally and Swiss authorities seeking to stabilize bank. That is a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> so um, almost done here. I'm just going to read through this little, little area. I, I like Zero Hedge because they've been updating this for a while. These Some of these charts are very, very interesting to look at, but the markets did respond very well to this, even though it's it's kind of just a rumor, to be honest. Um, but that's simply how the markets work. It's just kind of like an emotional um, balancing machine, in my personal opinion. So Rather unsurprisingly, um, given the S, its SIFI nature and the external pressure already reported, Bloomberg reports that according to people familiar with the matter, that the Swiss authorities and Credit Suisse Group AG are discussing ways to stabilize the bank. So yeah, basically Zero Hedge tweeted this, which <laughs> one year, this is insane. Um, one year credit default swaps, which again is just kind of the, the insurance um, premium uh you know similar similar to an option just to basically like it's, it's your hedge against a default um pushed up to 33.26 basis points um basically they're saying okay like european central bank do something um the firm's leaders and government's officials have reportedly talked about options that range from a public statement of support to a potential liquidity backstop also among ideas floated include a separation of the bank's swiss unit and a long shot orchestrated tie-up with the swiss rival ubs a statement from FINMA, or the Swiss Central Bank could be coming soon. Of course, U.S. equity soared on the news, not having a clue what the statement will say. Yeah, very, very interesting how the markets are just kind of like an emotional pricing machine. But that's essentially all for this video. Um, that was a lot. I apologize. <laughs> I personally watch things on, you know, 2x speed. I consume information very, very quickly. But I also, you know, learn a lot through doing these videos. So I really appreciate anyone who stuck through at this point in the video. Let me know in the comments if you have any topics you want me to cover, anything like that. I'll be happy to cover it. And uh, thank you again very much for watching Invest Global. And until next time.